Midges, mosquitoes and other flying, biting nasties can really put the dampeners on a trip. So in this video, we're going to look at all the ways we try to deal with them. So keep watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. Being in the great outdoors, flying insects are something of an inevitability, but there are various things available to try and make them easier to live with. So let's take a look at ones we've tried. The first line of defence for inside your camper are fly screens. If they can't get in, they can't annoy you and bite you. You can buy custom made screens, but we simply made this magnetic door screen using cheap screens from eBay. Our windows and skylight both have integrated fly screens. We all know that light tends to attract bugs, so once evening draws in, being able to black out the light also helps to avoid them trying to get in. As we'll see later, some of the gadgets we've used use ultraviolet light, which most bugs are attracted to. Research does suggest that they're less attracted by red wavelengths of light, so you could try using this as an alternative to white light, though you might get some strange looks. When we're sitting outside, we've tried a few things that help. If it's allowed, the smoke from a campfire does seem to discourage some insects. Our favourite set at the moment is this folding campfire pit, but you can check out all the methods we've tried in our video linked here and in the video notes. Where campfires aren't allowed, we've tried these mosquito coils, which do seem somewhat effective if the air is still. But if there's even a breath of wind, the small amount of smoke dissipates very quickly. We'll always try our best to deter insects rather than kill them, but as bites and stings aren't pleasant and can be painful, and flies in the van unhygienic, we do sometimes have to deal with the persistent ones. When it comes to bigger pests like flies, wasps and mosquito, this USB rechargeable electrified bat is a really effective way of easily dealing with persistent pests. It also folds together and has a UV light that can be switched on to act as a standalone unit. However, for that purpose, we have found this combination lantern and mosquito trap performs better. We use it both in the awning and inside the van for any critters that manage to sneak in. It recharges via the USB-C socket and has both a warm white light and a UV LED light with its electrified trap. Anything that is attracted to it is dealt with swiftly. As you can see, we found this to be pretty effective. One other thing we have tried is a mosquito phone app, which claims to use ultrasonic frequencies to deter mosquitoes. Well, we can certainly say it appears to have no impact on European flying insects, so we're glad it was a free download. As always, I hope some of the info we've shared is useful, and if you have any questions or other ideas for things you have used, do drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.